Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Myra Tatum Saucedo with the University of Texas Permian Basin. And you are the brave uh, students in a seven week intensive summer two course of American literature. So, uh, yeah, uh, we are down to the final days. And I, I want to get everybody through this, and I want you to get something out of this course, a takeaway that you will remember forever. So I did have some dystopian stories, like um, oh, Flannery O'Connor, Good Man is Hard to Find, and uh, oh, Melvis, and... Uh, other stories, they don't have happy endings all the time. But you know what? It makes you think. It makes you think about the world and uh, what is happening today even. I loved that students uh, reflected on and made connections to uh, stories that they read that are conditions uh, that were are occurring today. You, you know, conditions of privilege, of sacrificing a child for everybody else's happiness, um, and other things that I had you read. So we are down to the final few days. Everyone uh, needs to send me a topic proposal as soon as you can. Uh, any minute, any minute after watching this video, uh, we are down to the last few days of the week and you have a major paper due. Okay, so don't panic. Don't panic. Don't stress. We got this. Seriously, we do. If I have written in any of your assignments or um, discussion boards or paper drafts or anything that you just uh, nailed something. You just made a statement that would make another paper. Go with it. Take that strand. Um, uh, take anything you've written about it. If I need to open discussion boards, reopen them for you. I will do that. So you can take things you've already written and build a paper from that. In other words, you do not need to stare at a blank screen and start from scratch. You have already been doing research. You have already been completing uh, complex readings and analyzing them. Uh, and yeah, you can do your final paper without starting from scratch. So... I'm taking everything at the last minute. I'm going to get dinged for it. I always do. Um, but, yeah, you know, I had a lot of students in the last seven weeks, and I'm trying to be fair to everybody. So since I have done Kate Chopin to death, Flannery O'Connor to death, some people may say, where's the men in this course? Well, you know what? There didn't used to be women. I added Kate Chopin and Flannery O'Connor and uh, Shereen Moraga, Heroes and Saints. Um, however, there's also Allen Ginsberg as an option. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked in the streets. So, uh, yeah. He's somebody you could write about. He was before hippies. The beat generation is where he was involved. Uh, he called out gender. He called out religion. He called out a lot of things and um, was an amazing poet. So you can do Alan, Alan Ginsberg. You can do Sheree Moraga. Uh, Heroes and Saints. I'm going to make a video right after this one 
and uh, you just need to respond in a paragraph for Heroes and Saints. I regret there's not a lot of time in the seven-week course to read an entire play, but her play is just miraculous. Uh, it has magic realism. It talks about pesticides uh, um, and how migrants were uh, impacted by pesticides, giving birth to babies that were deformed, having cancer, and it's still going on today. I will send you a news article about pesticides being sprayed on migrant workers that happened last year, if you want that, if you want to write about that. Also, I have included Tim O'Brien. He wrote uh, this. This is a, not a true uh, novel. It reads like it is, and he tells the story um, how to tell the true war story in here. He was a Vietnam veteran. So, yes, he took from his life. Oh, okay. So, how to tell a true war story? Um, it involves the fact that when trauma occurs, a bomb goes off, somebody dies next to you, a major crisis occurs, that you will have gaps in your memory. There will be a blinding flash. You might look away for a second. And uh, how do you fill in those gaps? I am working with military veterans on this right now. Uh, and I, I, see, I see why people write fiction instead of nonfiction. Um, how to tell a true war story. You can look up things like um, trauma in writing is keywords, trauma writing. And uh, gosh, there's a lot of other things. If you want to write on it, just send me an email and I will send you some works. I just published a chapter in Routledge that's coming out on my birthday, uh, October 18th this year. Uh, uh, about these issues with veterans from any war. Also, mouse. It looks like moss is the German word for mouse is uh, pronounced the same way. It is a graphic novel. This means comic book form of a novel. And uh, uh, these are pr these are trending as our anime and manga and everything else um, because it used two parts of your brain uh, from brain studies to read text and uh, images. To learn to read images is what is known as visual rhetoric. Very strange. I just got to notice that everything turned off for what I was speaking about, but yeah, already it did not. Mm -hmm. Said you're just taking a photo. But, anyways, um, Mouse, I will help you with that. It's about the Holocaust. Um, the Jewish people were considered the mice, vermin, and this actually occurred in newspapers and cartoons. They were considered less than human, uh, thanks to Adolf Hitler. And uh, the Nazis were the cats trying to catch the mice. And uh, French people were rabbits. And uh, unfortunately, Polish people were pigs, and there was a lot of controversy about that. 
Uh, what you need to know about that is you need to have access to uh, the novel online or you need to have our textbooks for the class so you can just um, report on the excerpt a piece of the two volume novel the complete mouse um, to work on you have to be able to read the pages and see the comics so you can get that and i think you can get it uh, through ebooks also uh, it's about the holocaust it's it's very stern it's got a little bit of brutality uh, it is visual literacy which is the real world right now uh, animation images being able to read images just like you can read text words Put them together and you've got something new and i will talk more about this in another video if you're interested in uh, writing a, about um, the topics i have just addressed thank you bye see you at the next video